here are your instructions on what you're to build for me for this smart filter assignment. I've got a completed file here. I'm going to quickly go over it and give you some brief instructions how to get this started. Uh, what I want you to do though is to do five examples using the provided image of the flowers.jpg and choose five filters of your choice. Put them on a separate layer. For example, this is one layer, this is another layer. Apply a smart filter, which means you're going to need to convert the layer to a smart object. Apply a smart filter of your choice, as well as apply a mask in the smart filter alpha channel. And I want you to do that on at least four of them, and maybe leave one or two, perhaps with no mask applied, so you can see the full effect. Now, if I zoom in here, you'll get a much better view. I'm at 50% here. And you can see here I've got one called plastic wrap with a diagonal uh, mask on it. So I don't see any of the effect down in the lower right, but I see the effect starting to take more effect as it gets into the upper left where it becomes 100%. The next one over, I chose the one called halftone pattern, which give you this black and white halftone look. And again, just providing a diagonal in my case, a diagonal mask to show the effect happening and then fading off into its normal image. And I've got five of these all together. And I also want you to create a layout just as I have here, which I will briefly explain as well. So once you create the five separate, separate images and lay them out on a horizontal line as seen here, you need to create a vertical strip on the top, the gradient from black to clear. Then using text, and if I go to my text features here, I'm using impact, 28 point text for the name. Use your first name and last name. And then on the bottom, I also have a stripe, pure black, as you can see here, but running at a 50% opacity, which I've set in my layers. And then on top of those, I have a text element for each one, naming the filter that is being used. And if I highlight that, I can see that I'm also using impact, which I want you to use at 18 points. So impact 18 points for the titles of the filters and impact 28 points for your first and last name to be backed by a black bar at the bottom running at 50% opacity and a black bar at the top using a gradient from pure black to transparent so that it runs behind your first and last name. Now let me tell you about the size and the process of getting these from the flower.jpg file. Let me go over here. I have it open right now. I want you to go to image, image size, Reduce the width to a thousand pixels and resize that. Then you're going to change your canvas size to allow for five of these. So if I go up to image, canvas size, place the anchor at the left and multiply the width times five to accommodate the five images. So 5,000 wide by 1,000 high Again, setting the anchor to the left-hand side, clicking OK. And if I reduce this, you will see that it has accommodated that. And all I need to do now is duplicate this layer five times. I can double-click on it to create a new layer. And then duplicate that by dragging it over the new layer icon. Then with my Move tool and my Shift key down, you may need to zoom in. I don't want to see any white gaps in between. So if I need to zoom in and then move it around, I can use my arrow keys while I'm on the arrow tool, the move tool, and just tighten that up. And just do five of those. Move it over, line it up. And one more. And I might need to do a little tweaking here. There we go. 
So I've got my five layers. Now I'm going to go up to my first layer, create a smart object. I can right click on it on the name or control click on the Mac, convert to smart object. That's the first step. The second step will be to apply a filter and I would go to the filter gallery and I'll just use plastic wrap as an example. Click OK. And if I go up to zoom in on here, I should see that filter applied to this image. Now I can go into my uh, filter uh, mask and apply a gradient. I'm just going to apply a gradient foreground to background and just do a diagonal which again only allows the gradient rather only allows the filter to be seen in the upper left quadrant fading out to the normal image. If I don't like that filter I can double click on the gallery and I can make some changes accordingly. And then you should end up with something that looks like this when you're done. And that is your smart filters assignment.